Hello guys, how you doing? Uh, this is Wissam and today I want to talk to you about uh, the cost of ownership for a Tesla Model S P100D. Um, as you may know, the cost of the car is not only the cost of the purchase, but also the cost of the maintenance, um, they call it the running cost over the lifetime of the vehicle or ownership, which is about, I guess on average would be five years for people and it can be a little bit longer or less depending how, on how long you want to keep using your car. So let me talk to you about um, the car that I have. Um, I've been uh, having it for almost six months right now. I mean, uh, in, in a week, it will be six months since I owned my Model S. So let's get this started. So to talk about the cost of ownership, let's start by looking what's under the hood of the P100D. And um, as you may know or may not know, Tesla has no engine. So it runs by using two dual motors, at least in the all wheel drive uh, version. So here, there's only a plastic cover. Um, if I pop it out, so as you can see, there's no engine guys um, let me push it down push those clips all right so literally you only have um, a big storage area here so this is useful for groceries maybe extra storage space in case you're traveling um, but other than that the only thing you can replace uh, is basically the washer fluid so in the model s this is where you add your washer fluids and with the Model X they moved it a little bit here to make it easier for people to replace the washer fluid. So when you look at this, right off the bat, because there is no engine, you don't have all these mechanical components that are risk of failure. That includes uh, timing belts, uh, spark plugs, uh, uh, fluids, you know, to keep the engine running, there is no radiator. You don't need to have a, a, any coolant added from time to time. Um, what else? A lot of things that you find in a normal engine, you know, that you have to maintain and do the upkeeping. So because the Tesla is really simple, um, simple means less problems. So over the age of the car, this car is really easy to maintain and you don't have to spend all this money that otherwise you would have to spend it on an internal combustion engine car and that includes you know all these BMWs, Audis, uh, the Benzes and, and so forth. Uh, going sideways uh, so right now I have uh, 17,000 miles on the vehicle I got it for uh, when I when I purchased it I got it with a about almost 3,800 miles on it or 5,000. So right now I have um, 27,000 kilometers. And this is how my wheels or tires look like. Uh, a lot of wear thanks to Ludacris. I've been doing lunches almost um, whenever I can, you know, so on the highway um, and uh, when I get to the traffic signal, that's the best part about owning a Model S P100D. When it comes to the brake pads, I hardly use them, to be honest with you, because uh, I rely on regen or regenerative braking. And a uh, couple times I had to push it hard when there was an idiot in front of me who unfortunately decided to, to slam their brakes, you know. And uh, the ABS kicked in and, you know, braking was amazing. Actually, it was a great braking experience knowing how this car can perform um, uh, when you need to have that and uh, going to the back there isn't much really uh, in terms of uh, I don't know it's, it's not like a Porsche or anything so you don't have any engine here and uh, you know I try to keep this as clean as possible and kind of leave some of my stuff at the bottom storage area here and uh, so pretty much that's about it, you know, I mean, 
There isn't anything to upkeep this vehicle. So let's get inside and talk a little bit more. Uh, so um, when I bought my car again, it, it had like 3,800 uh, miles on it or 5,000 kilometers. And uh, it was an inventory unit. I got it for $129,000. And uh, it included the four years standard Tesla warranty. Plus I got one more year because I had some issues when I purchased it. So Tesla fixed it for me and they gave me one additional year. I didn't spend a dime on this. Um, in terms of um, overrunning cost, I didn't have to spend anything. And uh, the only few exceptions were when I got a flat tire because there was a nail in the tire. I had to take it to the service center in San Diego cost me $51 to um, fix the wheel. Luckily, they were able to fix it, and in the meantime, they gave me a loaner wheel. So I went around doing my own business, then came back and picked it up. The other time, I had to spend $150 to replace this little gizmo, the key fob, because um, unfortunately, I lost its a brother. So I have no idea where it went. Uh, part of life, I guess, you know, so, um, and even when you say 150, I, I asked my friends, they said, dude, you got it really cheap. Uh, we had to pay 250. Um, some people paid over than that. So 150 to replace the key fob and $75 to uh, reprogram it. They did the reprogramming for free for the other one. So thumbs up for Tesla. Um, and they really took good care of me like one of the best thing about Tesla guys it's the service center experience man I love those guys I really really love them they really like try their best to kind of get five stars so you know what thank you guys for doing what you're doing um, we Tesla owners appreciate what you do so in terms of uh, other expenses nothing much really you know um, in terms of uh, charging i got the unlimited supercharging with the vehicle because i purchased it before it expired that was actually one of the best motivation for me to just go and buy it i live in an apartment so and i'm in california southern california so guys don't start ranting but like i really really have no other mean of charging my car um i tried to talk to the landlord or the apartment complex manager uh you know yeah, we're gonna try to do that. We're working with San Diego Gas and Electric, and it's been like a couple months. You come back to them, and they just really don't care. So, till I own my own house, um, and uh, I'm gonna have solar panels also from Tesla. What I did is basically I forked uh, for the most expensive car Tesla can make. Um, for the Model S so hopefully the money I paid will basically um, go towards you know helping Tesla achieve their mission you know whether the Model 3 production the Model Y so um, I'm really glad because I feel like I'm contributing something back you know it's not only buying the car but actually it's helping Tesla achieve their own mission and because I got the unlimited supercharging um, I started using it extensively uh, so Right now, I don't have any other choice between buying the car and buying an apartment or buying a house. I did what any guy would do. Ignore the house, buy the car, live your life, and then figure out the rest, you know? So it kind of reminds me of Elon when he bought his McLaren um, and ignored buying the apartment back then, early on in the days. Um, so, uh zero dollars to charge this vehicle if i had a bmw um and here's the story so a lot of my guys that i like they love bmws beamers it's like dude why are you buying tesla it's electric as if that is like a stigma you know i don't know why they think like that but just go petrol you know dirty fuel is good um get the m5 man get the m5 it's a fantastic car you know and I went to check out the M5. And uh, the M5, when I was in Michigan, it was fully loaded. It starts at 100, no, um, not starts, but fully loaded was $105,000 plus taxes. 
and uh, I was like man like what about the overhead expenses of this car you still have to add a lot of fuel it's a premium fuel you still have to uh, replace parts plus you lose uh, a lot just because you drive a BMW so the cost of ownership for a Tesla at least Tesla retains more value a lot of people want to buy the car back from you versus if you buy a BMW it drops down like hell you you kind of lost all of your money really quickly and uh, I was like man I don't know uh, the Model S is faster uh, the Model S does not require all these mechanical things and to be honest with you I hate dirty fuel you know screw petrol uh, if there is one way to do it with electric I'm in so that was the biggest motivation let's let's move to clean air clean energy um, you know I love this stuff and that was the biggest motivation so price wise I think over the cost of ownership a BMW M5 would cost me a lot more than a Tesla P100D and the same thing can be said for the Model 3 performance versus a BMW M3 um, so if anybody would like to challenge me on that please come in um, Tesla is good I love Tesla um, other than that in terms of cost of ownership uh, as, you, as I said I have 17,000 on the odometer right now if I switch to kilometers uh, it's 27,000 miles uh, thousand kilometers sorry so I really love this stuff and um, one thing I left to the end is braking so um, you gotta replace the brake pads right um, because they get used well you don't have to replace them as often in a Tesla compared to the internal combustion engine vehicles and the reason for that is Tesla uses regenerative braking or shortly region and uh, as soon as you lift your foot from the pedal um, the motion on the tires uh, basically they spin the motor and then the motor turns the speed back to, to electricity like a, a dynamo would do and the car decelerates you can control the deceleration from the setting you can put it to low versus standard I prefer standard because uh, then the region will take some of that energy or motion energy turn it back into electricity put it in the battery this does two things first it extends your range a little bit and the other thing is it kind of um, reduces the amount of brakes you have to apply you're gonna have to, have to apply brakes um, when you get to like I don't know 10 kilometers per hour or 5 kilometers you know the last kind of like meters or feet before you have to come to a full stop but then you're not pushing hard on the brakes so that increases the longevity of the brake so the amber means that I'm using electricity and the green means I'm using region on the energy widget so let me stop here it's all in kilometers right now so testing Tesla region accelerating now Woo. nice nice so as you can see the green is slowing the vehicle and I'm gonna come to a full stop or almost and then I can just hit the brake and voila uh, in a standard car I heard it's about I don't know uh, between 25 to 30 thousand miles that's about like 40 to 50 thousand kilometers in a Tesla people were saying 150 to 200 thousand miles and that's about I don't know maybe 380 to 450 thousand kilometers that's insane that's really insane and um, and those brake pads are not like the most uber expensive ceramic Brembo type you know pads that you have to buy so even to replace them it doesn't cost cost you as much um, so kudos to Tesla for this um, so that was the the video that I wanted to discuss with you about so again the cost of ownership includes the initial price that you have to pay the running cost over the lifetime or uh, ownership of the vehicle and uh, basically the depreciation of the car 
and um, I'm really happy with this car I hope I made it easier for you guys um, one more thing uh, I've almost forgot to mention is the cost of electricity so um, Tesla's make more sense if you have really cheap electricity if you have expensive petrol that's even better because then it kind of tips uh, the, the needle or tilts the needle towards electric vehicles more than petrol cars and the reason for that is because you need electricity to charge the car um, so if electricity is cheap beautiful uh, Tesla makes more sense if this electricity is expensive then um, you have the option of having solar panels so that's another thing so if you have solar panels in your home then the cost of electricity is zero because every day you get sun you know every day you wake up there's the sun that's the largest source of energy on this planet <coughs> I apologize so you can just capture that energy store it in a battery then give it back to the Tesla or give it directly to the Tesla which is awesome because then you don't have to spend anything anymore you don't even have to head to the supercharger and spend an hour or so to supercharge so you have that option if you are running on petrol you don't really have that that option every time you're gonna go and spend all of your money on the gasoline and it may go up it may go down you know nobody knows it's, it's all over the place but if you have solar in your home then that's it you're done you're set you can have a Tesla you can have two Teslas in your house and uh, it kind of pays for itself so this is what I see having that flexibility is really nice um, the other thing is that uh, uh, I really like the fact that it doesn't produce any emissions so clean air right now I'm in the car I can turn it on you know there you go car is on and like there is no idling no fumes no toxic gases so it's good for other people too um, so if you guys want to slam me for being more an EV car well at least I'm not polluting the air that you breathe I mean that that's something I think should be emphasized and it's more so for kids you know kids are have more sensitive lungs and yeah kudos to Tesla for pushing the envelope and uh, another thing that you get with uh, buying a Tesla is autopilot and I've been using it a lot uh, especially in the traffic so when I have a, a traffic on the highway I turn it on let the car basically do all the heavy lifting you know so I can maybe enjoy watching something on YouTube or something like that to call the, the time and the car moves in stops moves in and stops and also when I drive like uh, long distances so say I'm going in a straight line on the highway I just let the car kind of stay in the lane and, and uh, apply autopilot and the thing is it, it gets better as more people use it as more um, Tesla puts into the system so you can always upgrade and, and have a, the best autopilot possible so that's an option that you can do um, and I already upgraded to full self-driving and um, software updates are also uh, being pushed regularly so um, I got uh, a loaner car back from 2014 when I needed to fix something on my Tesla and uh, guess what it still got a software update I mean this is uh, unheard of tell me a car manufacturer other than Tesla that basically gives you um, software updates for free and um, actually adds more feature to the car after you buy it without having to go and buy a newer model um, so kudos to Tesla for doing that so in a nutshell I hope that was a useful video guys uh, looking forward to hearing from you till then have a great day and peace